here we are again, doing what we love to do. You know where we are. We're at Mount Washington, going for our fifth time at the peak. And this one's on our bucket list because it's a winter hike. So we're gonna slay this beast and uh, enjoy the peak in the winter because every time I'm up there, it's uh, like a friggin' zoo with all the people. I can finally enjoy it. We're taking the, uh, we're gonna follow the cog railway up, A to B, straight up. Probably the easiest way to go up in the, in the winter, especially with a dog. So that's the plan. It's about 9.30 and it's supposed to warm up. Uh, hopefully once these clouds go away, the sun will be shining because it's, it's cold. It's cold, it's about 13 right now. Uh, <clears throat> it's supposed to get into the 30s, but not up there. We'll be lucky if it stays how it is right now here, up there. But that's a long intro, but I'm excited. Here we go. Well, you can see what the, the trail on the side of the cog is all about. I mean, a lot of people ski down it, uh, sledding. Uh, but we're, we're trudging. But just gorgeous, gorgeous views today. Uh, I'm gonna take a lot of breaks and turn around and, and really soak it in. Because uh, it's no joke, it's a quad burner. Of course the wingman is always ahead. But once we get above the trees right up there, we're gonna have some wide open views on the way up. And that's when I'll pop on the GoPro. Uh, we're just slowly but surely, I don't wanna work up too much of a sweat because once you get above that tree line and that wind picks up, especially up there, I mean, we're in the highest part of the Northeast when we get up to the peak. It's cold. It is cold, it's no joke. But it's gonna be a blue, gonna have some blue skies up there, hopefully. Yeah, we're looking good. All right. Whew, I'm coming, I'm coming. I almost jumped on. <laughs> ah, I didn't think they did that in the winter. That's cool. Well, they're gonna beat me. I'm at one of the steepest spots, I think, so it's just been a it's been a real butt kicker since, well, you can see. You know, the GoPro doesn't do much justice, but you can see how far we've gone. <laughs> Not that far. And we still got a, we got a few miles to go, so. Probably a little, about two and a half. Oh, we finally made it into the sunlight and it is warm. I mean, I'm sweating. The sun feels good, there's no breeze. The clouds are dissipating. There's nothing at the peak. I think we're, we're gonna be in store for some epic views. Oh boy, it's beautiful. Even those clouds. Huh. We're gonna take a break up at this spot. That's where the, uh, the cog stopped. And uh, I think it dropped off fuel or something. I don't know, it, it's, it came here and back because it already went back down the mountain. But we're making it, you can see the peak. I mean, we still have a long way to go. This second leg is gonna be steep. But once we get up onto that ridge, it'll be a little better. It won't be as steep and probably more icy. So I could put my, uh, <clears throat> my spikes on and uh, I could probably go a little faster, but this is, it's not, it's not easy. It's not 
snowshoe type terrain and it's not spikes so you either bare boot it or put your snowshoes on and uh i haven't had any issues with the bare boot and i'm not post holing or anything it's really packed down now look at this tree it just keeps getting better and better i think there's people in there i don't know if they work here or probably weather observatory that's where they drop the, the gas off but I wasn't expecting a fire pit in the middle of the, the cog railway it feels so good but what a treat yeah I mean that, that's that's gonna be a butt kicker right here but we'll get through it Yeah, I just talked to the guy that's in there and he's like, yeah, they, they keep that fire going all night and it's just hot coals at night and it, it stays warm all night. And he's just soaking in the views. It's just a beautiful, beautiful day. Even he said, this is just, this is just a perfect day. It's a perfect day. I was so glad I waited these weeks and weeks to get up here waiting for the but just a good weather day and man I lucked out huh pup good, good boy yeah this this has been the toughest part so far this this stretch of steepness is just a lot of uh just snow drifts um it's starting to get hard again though uh we're gonna be in the shade up here it's gonna cool right off for a little bit but once we get up uh where that sun is like it is right here it's it feels good. I mean, as you can see, I'm I'm trying not to perspire. I'm, I'm doing a lot of stopping and relaxing. I don't want to over sweat because when we get to the peak, it, it's going to be friggin' cold. I, I have an extra jacket. I have my hard shell and this is my soft. So <clears throat> we'll be ready for the peak. I don't know how long we'll stay up there, depending on the wind. Uh, I'm curious. We get up to that. It's been steep as hell. <laughs> For my last two clips, it's even worse, but at least now we're, we're in the ice. It's, it's ice, I put my spikes on. I took a break down there uh, under the cog, under the railway and uh, put them on. We're almost two hours into the hike. Yeah, hour and a half, hour 45. I'm hoping over that, this next hump, I'm hoping it kind of flattens out a little and is a little more open but with the open comes the wind and I'm, I'm feeling it every now and then just the littlest bit so I bundled up again and I'm just I'm getting ready for that cold weather at the top and it looks like there's a cloud right over the peak that would kind of stink if we were in a cloud <clears throat> but we'll know when we get over this this hill right here Yeah, so we were breaking trail way up there and it was going up to my waist. So I'm like, screw that. I'm hopping up on the cog and Chewy was already up on here walking. I'm like, okay, well, he's got the right idea. I'm gonna follow him. Then the gaps started getting wider and he started to struggle. All of a sudden we're about eight to 10 feet up in the air. He falls right down and yelps, yelping. I was like, oh shit. I climbed down the freaking side of it and he's already trying to climb back up. I'm like, nope. I'm like, we are done. The wind started to pick up. Clouds started to roll in right over the peak. I'm like, screw that. I am going home. I am not gonna die on this mountain and I am not gonna kill my dog trying to get some views. But scary, scary moment. I thought he was dead. Uh, there were all rocks underneath. Thank God he fell in the snow and not on a rock. But when he yelped, I, I thought for sure he broke something. 
I was so scared. I, I just, I climbed down as quick as I could and uh, made sure he was okay, uh, not limping at all. Um, he just started going back on the trail running and I was like, yeah, we're turning around and going home. I'm not, with the wind and the cold and and with what happened there and having a break trail. I mean, we were, we were so damn close. We were up on that ridge when we started to walk on that cog, but then even if I kept going on that cog, if we didn't turn around, it was like a 15 foot drop. I was like, no effing way. Chewy, uh, he would have died if, if we went up any further and he fell. So we'll try it again another time. Fell in between, in between the, the wooden uh, railway. Uh, a stupid idea by me. I, I was very stupid and I, uh, I should have known that was too dangerous for him. It was even getting dangerous for me because it was getting steep climbing. Look at this one little hill here and we're done. We didn't make it to the peak, but I'm okay with that because look it. Isn't that why we do it? Yes, that's why we do it. It's soaking that in the whole way down.